You have trillions of dollars flowing cross-border globally. It's still largely dominated by the, the SWIFT network, if you will. And yeah, that's architecture, that's a technology architecture that's developed 50 years ago. There's an opportunity to modernize. That takes time, particularly when you have a government in the U.S. kind of combating that innovation. Uh, but that's changing now. The, the Trump effect, if you will, ha is profound. You're seeing that in asset prices, but you're also going to see that in a, the adoption of these technologies. Ripple has always had the goal of capturing some of SWIFT's market share. And I believe in the continent of Asia, they are going to excel and actually continue to uh, capture and onboard partners that are ultimately going to see that success in regards to people having an alternative to swift and that alternative being ripple and Ripple's secret source is xrp swift are very much playing catch up with ripple as a company to start to leverage distributed ledger technology whereas ripple has been doing this for years and ultimately swift still have not solved that problem of correspondent banking which is inherent with Ripple's network. So there you had Brad Garlinghouse essentially talking about the outdated nature of Swift. And of course, it is very obvious that a competitor perhaps would talk down about another, just like what we're seeing the CIO of Swift, the chief innovation officer of Swift, do with Ripple. Very much trying to discredit it. I think that shows how far Ripple as a company has came.